Welcome, this is Poland Daily Culture. My name is Marie Kondzielska and our today's topic is how art is connected to business and technology. Habib Maskin is with us in the studio. Habib, thank you very much for coming. Maria, glad to be here. Thanks for having me here. Habib, you are the CEO of a company, Testspring, and tell us more. What do you do with art? <laughs> okay, so let's start with uh, Testspring. It's a quality assurance company. So that, it, it means that we help uh, companies throughout the world uh, make their services uh, and products better by achieving better quality. And by this, I mean that we do fly throughout the world and help companies on site. And uh, because of that, I was living for quite some time abroad. I was living in the Netherlands, for example, in, in Sweden, even in Vietnam. And I did so one thing uh, that everywhere you go, there are these little art shops where you can buy a lot of paintings, a lot of other kind of arts. And then I come back here to Poland and uh, I don't see that much of it. And I was thinking, so don't we have artists in Poland? Like, uh, where, where are they? So what they do? And we were talking with my business partner, Łukasz, uh, Łukasz Gamrod, and we were calling some friends that do paint. And we were asking, hey, why don't you actually sell your art? Like, why don't you have an art shop? And their answer was like, do you know this thing called food? Yeah, you have to have it to, to, you know, just live. So you cannot really make a living out of art in Poland. That was their answer. So we were thinking, well, how you can connect the business? The, the Polish mentality basically, especially <laughs> in this time, was that art is not a first necessity and that you kind of get it maybe in the museum or maybe it's reserved for very rich people who have money to go to art galleries and buy exactly. something. Exactly. And that was uh, my... Um, uh, my understanding as well. Somehow I, I thought about art as something uh, of the uh, uh, something for the rich people, something you can find in a gallery. Exactly. It's actually a, a quite bad supposition we have. It's not that expensive to have art at your home, and uh, you can actually be an artist, full-time artist. And we were thinking like, how many Polish talents? are wasted because they are selling coffee at Starbucks. Uh, they're, you know, g g carpenters, or, or, but they could be great painters. And we thought, hey, can we help? And that's actually how we started uh, Art Spring. So the project that helps uh, Polish artists, especially painters, to show their art to the uh, big tech, uh, to the new tech companies, uh, to the IT. So people who, in general, they have money, but maybe they don't know that they can spend it on art as well. And, uh, so the project is about showing the art um, to people that can buy it. And, uh, so it is showing art and pieces of so paintings and other pieces of art, sculptures, as directly to people in tech. Exactly. who sit in front of their computers and they didn't really attend galleries or big openings or any other things like that, usually. I mean, not generally, <laughs> but let's be honest, it's not their first interest. <laughs> and then, so how do you do it? How do you connect those two worlds? First stop was buying some arts to our office in uh, Katowice so that people can, you know, we just hang them on the walls and so what is the reaction? And people, in, they just came to work and, and it was exactly uh, the day as all the other days. They sat in front of, of their computers, they started working, but at some point they started noticing that there is something on the wall, right? And is it the uh, interior design or is it something else? Why is it here? And um, at, at some point we started talking in the kitchen next to a cup of coffee. Do you like it? Like, what do you think about it? And actually people started to get interested in, in, in those paintings, started asking, who are these painters? Uh, if we can, if we could have it, oh, maybe I could have it as well. Like, what's the price? Uh, where to buy it? So all these questions were suddenly answered. And so art in everyday spaces, in exactly. uh, so in the companies and firms, so uh, people who are working they can enjoy it as in the same moment. This is a good question. If it's just an interior design or is it something else, something that lets you uh, put your thoughts to somewhere else, like uh, have a rest from your work and then just you know, look at the painting and whatever you think about it, you think about it. Not sure <laughs> which one is this. Uh, for me, it's a good interior design as well, but I start noticing that if you have this art next to you, then you actually learn how to um, appreciate it. Because you know how it is, you're in school, 
they, they take you to the museum. It's never interesting. It's never exciting. It's, it's never something you look forward to when you're young. So maybe that's why we are not that keen on uh, art. But uh, we thought, hey, if you put it next to people and show it in everyday spaces, as you said, um, maybe it makes them thinking. Maybe it's actually showing them, hey, it's not reserved for a museum. Maybe it's something you can have at your home as well. Perfect. It's a very interesting idea and we'll talk more about it in the next episode. And of course, to all of you, test, test Art Spring, which uh, is connect art with technology. And maybe you are an artist or maybe you are someone in tech. That is an invitation for both of you. And again, thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture.